The two humans continued along the path. They experienced another puzzle, but were then stopped by dogs. Quite a few of them. One had an extending neck after getting petted, and there was a married dog couple. After getting past them, and smelling like a weird puppy, they found another puzzle with X's and O's with spikes blocking the path. It was very simple, and once they finished it, they saw Papyrus was on the other side of the spikes. When the spikes fell, he took notice of the two humans behind it. What? How did you do avoid my trap? And, more importantly, is there any left for me? The voice spoke in his head again, asking another question. What do you tell Papyrus about his spaghetti? Ate it? Left it. He told the truth and said that they left it. Papyrus had a look of surprise on his face. Really? Wowie! You resist the flavor of my home-cooked pasta! Just so you can share some with me? Uh, sure, yeah. Let's go with that, Will said, not wanting to say why they really left it. Fret not, humans! I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you can ever want! <laughs> yeah. He said before rushing off. Hope it isn't cold like that one, Will thought to himself. They continued along the path to find another puzzle. Papyrus stepped forward with Marvel behind him. Papyrus spoke with him. Humans! Hmm... How do we say this? You two were taking a long time to arrive, so... We decided to improve this puzzle, Marvel continued for Papyrus. By arranging the snow to look more like my face, Papyrus proudly said. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different, Marvel continued again. And, as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around, Papyrus interjected. I suppose what we're saying is... Worry not, humans! I, the great Papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. We'll try not to give away the answer. Want to give it a go? Will asked Logan. Eh, why not? He replied. It took a few minutes and a few retries to figure out the puzzle. But they eventually got it, and once they finished it, Papyrus and Marvel had a look of surprise. Wow, you two solved it! Marvel exclaimed. And you did it all without our help! Incredible! I'm impressed! Papyrus continued. Me too, Marvel said. You two must care for puzzles like I do! Well, I'm sure you'll have the next puzzle then! It might even be too easy for you! <laughs> Papyrus said before rushing ahead with Marvel running behind him. The two humans continued along the path to find Sans waiting for them. He spoke about being glad about them not asking for help since he loves doing nothing. They walked along the path more to find the next puzzle, and Papyrus, Sans, and Marvel on the other side. Hey! It's the humans! You're gonna love this puzzle! Papyrus exclaimed. It was made by the great Dr. Alphys, Marvel interrupted. You see these tiles? Once I throw this switch, they'll begin to change color. Each color has a different function, and we shall see each of them alternating between myself and my trainee. Red tiles are impassable. You can't walk on them, Marvel started. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you, Papyrus continued. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you'll have to find a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but... If you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if the blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How is that? Understand? Papyrus asked. The voice in his head asked him another question. Understand the explanation? Of course. No. He didn't want to go through that entire thing again, so he said he got all of it. Great! And there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. <laughs> Get ready! Papyrus said before pulling the switch. The tiles on the ground started to randomly change colors, changing faster each time it changes. When it stopped, there was a moment of silence. The tiles were almost all red tiles except for a line of pink tiles down the middle. The humans said nothing, and neither did the skeletons. The first to react was Papyrus, who just spun away to the area ahead. Will and Logan walked to the other side, still silent. They faced Sans and Marvel, who were still standing there. Um, was that supposed to happen? Logan asked. Don't tell Papyrus, but yes, Marvel said in a semi-whisper. What? Are you serious? Will asked in a whisper shout. Yep, Marvel nodded. Before he got here, I messed with the settings to have it so you get by. Man, you sure are a brave one, Marvel, Will commented. Thanks, I try. 
Marvel thanked. Shall we move on? Will nodded, and they all walked along the path together. The area ahead had a bunch of snow dogs with the heads fallen on the ground. There was also another star from before. He approached it, and the voice spoke once again. Knowing that dog will never give up on trying to make the perfect snow dog, it fills you with determination. They progressed forward to the next area to find an ice puzzle. It was fairly simple to pass through, and when they got to the area after, there were multiple snow poofs on the ground, including one blocking the way to the next area. When they approached it, a dog popped out of it, which led them into a battle. The battle was a little short because they dealt with dogs before, so they knew what to do. They spared it, and it went on its way. Sans and Marvel walked ahead to the meet with Papyrus. Will and Logan waited a few minutes before continuing. They walked to the next area, which had a long wooden bridge over a large ravine. They walked carefully over the bridge to the other side, and they see that Papyrus, Sans, and Marvel are on the other side. This is your final and most dangerous challenge! Behold, the Gauntlet of Deadly Terror! Papyrus said first. Suddenly, multiple different weapons appeared on the sides of the bridge. There was a cannon, two spears, a torch, a chained mace, and... a dog? When I say the word, it would fully activate! Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice, each part will swing violently up and down. Only the teeniest chance of victory will remain! Was that a pun on my name? Will asked, a bit annoyed. Marvel shakes his head and mouths the word, accident. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it! Will and Logan ready themselves for all the weapons to activate, but there was just silence. They looked at Papyrus with a confused look. Well, what's the holdup? Sans asked. Hold up! What hold up? I'm... I'm about to activate it now! Papyrus replied. Will and Logan raided themselves again, a little less than the time before. There was still silence. That, uh... Doesn't look very activated, Sans commented. Yeah, where's the fire? Logan asked. Well, this challenge... It seems... Maybe... Too easy to defeat the humans with, Papyrus exclaimed. Yeah, we can't use this one. We're monsters with standards. Indeed, my puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes, Papyrus said, dismissing the weapons. They all sunk back to... wherever they came from. Phew, Papyrus said. Will and Logan looked at him with a look that said, You didn't want to use this on us, did you? What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Yeah. <laughs> Huh? Papyrus shouted before rushing ahead. Will and Logan walked to the end of the bridge to talk with Sans and Marvel. I don't know what Papyrus is going to do now, Marvel said. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks, Sans added. In all honesty, I'm glad you didn't use the gauntlet, Marvel admitted. You're not the only one, Logan exclaimed. Come on, let's head to town. You'll like it there, Marvel said. They all walked down the path together, and ahead they saw some wooden buildings and a sign that read, Welcome to Snowden. And in the middle of two buildings, there was another yellow star. Will approached it, and the voice spoke again. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Sans and Marvel had to go meet up with Papyrus, so they said their goodbyes and headed on their way. Will and Logan walked into one of the buildings and spoke with the rabbit monster behind the desk. Welcome to the Snowed Inn, Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80G. Will thought about whether or not he should stay. He gave it some thought and decided to stay the night. They've been puzzling all day. Night? Meh, a long while. He gave her 80G, and they got her room. Will and Logan took a much-needed rest. They woke up feeling full of energy. They thanked the lady at the desk for letting them stay, and headed into town. They walked around for a bit, talking to different monsters. They even saw a monster with no arms playing with another figure with what looked like black fur and a winter hat. Neither Will or Logan could get a good look since the figure was covered in snow. They didn't think much about it and continued on. They eventually found the end of town. When they walked down the path, a thick fog rolled in, blocking their vision. After a bit of walking, a silhouette shone through the fog. The figure spoke with a familiar voice. Humans, allow me to tell you about complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover. Guilty, Logan interrupted. The admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool, Papyrus continued. These feelings, they must be what you're feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I'm very great. I mean, it's in your title, so... Will said softly so he couldn't hear. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely humans. Will and Logan had looks of confusion on their face. Papyrus continued his speech. Worry not. You shall be lonely no longer. 
why the great papyrus will be your... No. No. This is all wrong. I cannot be your friend. You are humans. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful. Popular. Prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. As soon as Papyrus finished, the world lost its color. Two souls appeared in front of the humans, and a skeleton standing a few feet from them, blocking the way.